Welcome back, everybody. My name is Zexor, and I'm a big fat nerd. <laughs> this is part number 13 of Let's Play Broken Sword, The Smoking Mirror, Broken Sword 2, I should say. In the last part, um, I took medicine to Nico and then worked my way, uh, well, with the cutscene, worked my way here, talked to this duder down here, and uh, we're up here with the Catch Museum. It's a flagpole I'm trying to get to. There's also a cat. There were some ladies here. I sent them down here. Um, basically distracted them, got them to go down there. So now, what I need to do, I think, is examine stuff while they're gone. A large tree stood beside the house with a suggestive U formed by the branches. A suggestive U. Um, guys, this is supposed to be a game that kids could watch. I don't need your inappropriate letters going on. Okay, um, let's... A large tree... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I couldn't think of any reason... To climb the tree. Couldn't think of any reason to climb the tree. Except stuff and things. Okay. Uh, let's try climbing up the ladder now, if I can. Since they're down there now, they didn't want me climbing up before, but now that they're down there, maybe I can climb up now. Okay, what do I got? 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 What do I... Try these? Nah, I didn't have the throwing strength to knock the marker off. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I know. Uh, the coal. Derp -der. Nah, I didn't have... Oh. Nah, I... Nope. So I can't throw... anything that way. Right, let's go down first. Down, down, down. Climb your way down, George. Climb your way down. And, uh, but, uh, wait, why do I have... Well, it's just telling me that I can go up when I go over that, I guess? It was the old house. Can I go inside now? Probably not. It was locked. It was a closed... Try the closed window. Maybe I can sneak in there. The window was locked. Use this to pick the lock on the window? No. I couldn't just go around throwing things at other people's windows. Well, I wasn't going to throw it. Why would, why would I throw it at the window, George? Use it to pick locks, you weirdo. No. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, okay. So I'll do this and then go in this window. That's what I'll do. Aha! <laughs> I'm understanding now. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right. The house's windows looked out over the bay. Just my luck. I'd struck out again. The windows were all locked. Well, what the... Da, 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 da. No, I... No, I could... Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to work. So... All right, let's go back down. Something with a cat. What can I do with a cat, though? Does a cat want to play with the panties? <laughs> maybe, maybe. No. I wasn't going to risk further life. A cute little putty tat. It was busily torturing... Here. No. Huh. Ha ha ha. I can't do anything to grab this ladder now that it's up, right? So it's definitely supposed to... Oh. What's that? It was a flagpole. One of a pair. I couldn't reach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, I guess, reach the flagpole from up there then, maybe? I don't know, man. I didn't have a flag on me. Here. Maybe in my high school. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't... 
what else? I need to be able to get that ball away from the cat somehow, and I'm not sure. I'm not going to throw this at the cat, right? Pretty sure no. Well, let me try. It would have been pretty cool to drug the cat, but I didn't have the heart. And besides which, those sisters would kill me. Well, I don't know. I couldn't think of any... Why do I have to climb the tree? I'm not trying to climb. I'm trying to... Besides, yes, you do have a reason. You can't get there, but you can maybe get up the wall or something if you... Uh, let's go this way. Is there something more maybe around the side, back side of the house? No. Negatory. Negatory infinity. Zexor, you did not find anything to do at the house. What a waste. I know, right? I can't think of what else I should do, though, up here. So like, it's got to be something else down below, right? It was a net. I didn't want it. But I do want a fishing net. I want to be able to get to the stupid flag. Are the sisters there or whatever? Talking to the boy? Nope, they're not. Alright. Maybe I could use this. I think Bronson is trying to cheat those sweet, vulnerable old ladies. That's a little unfair, isn't it? Okay. He's trying to cheat those seriously demented, poisonous old ladies. <laughs> you have to admire his acumen. <laughs> Can you let me have a fish, kid? I thought you said you don't like fish. It's not for me. It's a present. For the old ladies? Well, it makes a change from flowers and candy. No, it's for their cat. Okay. <laughs> what do I get out of it? I can pay you. I've got Quaramontian dollars, French francs, and traveler's checks. You must be joking. The nearest bank is three islands away. Give him the worm. Is this worm worth a fish? Could be good bit. How did it die? I think it drowned in tequila. Just like my Uncle Gabriel. Yeah, I'll have that. Awesome. Okay, I'll get you a fish. It might take a while though. Or not. About this Tell me about your friend Emily. Why are you so interested in Emily Ketch? Emily Ketch? A descendant of Captain Ketch, the pirate? Yeah. Well, it doesn't bother you? Why should it? We don't responsible for our ancestors. Good point. How come the old ladies closed the museum? It's Bronson's doing. He have the plans for redeveloping the museum. Oh, I know all about Mr. Bronson's plans. Nothing else? Did you see the weird sisters come by here? Did I? They look madder than usual, so I hide until they gone by. Just as well. They thought you were playing with Emily. Boy, were they steamed. Emily? You're madder than them. <laughs> well, no. No That's... luck with the fish? No, man. They don't want bite. That's cause they know there's a storm brewing. Storm? Well, I don't think so. Hey! I got a bite! You have? Awesome. It's a big one. A real big it's not one. Be a fish. Reel him in real. Jeez. Do something else. It must be a whale or something. Ha. <laughs> Knew it. Rustiest whale I ever see. I still need a fish, Rio. Okay, make me try again. Maybe you better change your bait. It was half a rusting bicycle frame. The only serviceable part of the bicycle's wreck was a rubber inner tube. You just never know when you're going to need stuff like that. <laughs> That's a logical conclusion, right? Why would you not need an inner tube from a tire as randomly as you go about, right? There was nothing else on the bike. It was half...
Here's a fish, my man. I can't put it in my pocket while it's flapping about like that. No problem. <laughs> okay, here's my question. You can't put it in your pocket. Why would you put a fish in your pocket or a tequila worm for that matter? George. George, George, George. You're a nerd, George. You're a nerd. What's your problem, dude? Seriously. Alright, let's go up, 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 The little monster ate the fish, but never strayed far from the ball. And he's gonna claw me. I wasn't going to rip. Yeah. I could have loaded the cat into the inner tube and launched it out to sea. Catapult. Get it? Oh, Stobart. You kill me sometimes. Uh, <laughs> George is so funny. Zach, so stop pretending like you found that was the stupidest joke I ever heard. That joke was so dumb, it made me look dumb. It made me look smart. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, it made you look dumb. <laughs> Squeaky, it's okay. We, we know what you mean. No, but I don't. I, no, I stopped talking now. Uh, I wonder if I can do this. Nah, I didn't have the throwing strength to knock. Oh, wait, 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 let's do... This? No, that's wrong. Psst. Well, excuse me, that's wrong. Okay, fine. I think I need it with the ball, maybe, but I don't know for sure. Let's try this one. I couldn't reach it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going up. Calm yourself. Easy, easy, easy. It's fine. Okay? And... Cool. Woohoo! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. Why, what? Do it again. Okay, I need something else. Put down below. Seems like it is a good idea, kinda, because you attach it up here. So there's got to be something else attached below. Not sure what, though. Dare panty stir. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> Thank you, George. Thank you. Probably not him, right? I don't. Yeah. The coal, maybe? No. I had to. Her term murder. That would. Huh. Nothing. Oh. Ooh. Get another fish and then distract, right? And then distract the cat, probably. All right, let me go down. Down, 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 down. Let's go, George. Come on, now. Move it, move it, move it. Arr, move it. Tupa, tupa, tupa. Give me one more fish, dude, please. Can you give me another fish, even though I don't have anything more, because I already gave you the one worm? There's a fish, my man. Oh, you already got another one for me. Awesome. I know he's going to automatically get one. That's awesome. All right, let's go. This way, George. This way. This way, George. This way. George, you gotta go where his actual set, cause he point and he click, and that's where you're supposed to go. You have to follow where he said. Right, but he doesn't have to like following where George says to go. Or what? Where? Where Zexor says George to go? 
Or something like that, anyway. That should get the old cat dancing. I just hoped it didn't give itself a cardiac. I will get the ball. Don't know what I need the ball for, but I've got it now. I couldn't think of it. Okay. Oh, yeah, now I throw the ball at that, I'm sure, right? Nah, I didn't have the throwing strength to knock them off. Yeah, the throwing strength. Okay. I didn't want to risk the wrath of that vicious animal by putting my hand within striking distance of those claws. Hang on. We go up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't have a flag on me, so... There you go, cat. Go have fun with your fishes. Okay, so now... Can I do it from here? No, right? Nah. I... Yeah. But, what if I do... This... Maybe, and then with the ball on that, on the end of that? I don't know. It's weird, but... That was... Yeah, no. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> uh, what if I do this? If I take this back... I didn't have a flag. Shut up. This one. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good idea. You're just fine. I don't know what your what your problem is. All right, let's. This. That isn't it. That isn't it at all. Okay. Well, fine. Oh, uh, let's do this. Go down, down. Downage, downage, downage. And then there. Maybe. Attach that to the tree, possibly. Aha! Now we go ball on that. I put the ball in the catapult. Ha <laughs> ha! I win! Ha! <laughs> Took aim. Yes! Okay. So it was a lucky shot, but I'd knocked the theodolite target clean off the end of the flagpole. He's like, what the world was going on with my, with my target? I'm confused. I'm confused, Eric. So what happened to his target? I knocked it off. When he now he coming, he gonna be upset. Not necessarily. He doesn't know I knocked it off, does he? Well, I don't know. Maybe no. What the hell's going on here? Hi, Bronson. Nice to see you too. You again. Have you been screwing around with my theodolite target? Where is it? I had to climb out of the window to put that one on. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go through all that again. Not this time. The house is locked up and the sisters aren't here. Hell's teeth! I'll have to put the spare target on the other flagpole. A whole morning's work wasted. I'm gonna fix all this and then I'm gonna fix you, you hear? Yeah? Fine. I'll be waiting. Oh, Mr. Bronson, Mr. Tough Guy! Careful. Easy. Easy. What if I do this? What if I take this away? <laughs> what you doing, Bronson? Just hanging around? I'm gonna kill you for this, Stobart! Get me down from here! What, so you can <laughs> kill me? Gee, you talked me out of it, Bronson. I felt a little guilty about leading Bronson up there. But not much, obviously. Uh, I'll take that, thank you. The marker was a bright, shiny thing, and I have a weakness for bright, shiny things. It wasn't going to be much use without the Theodolite, though.
It was the Still old house. It was locked. Yeah, um... Hey! Get me down! What's the magic word? Please! Oh, bad luck. I was thinking of Alakazam. I had no more to talk to him about. <laughs> He's gonna leave him up there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the novelty value of having an inner tube in my pocket had worn off. I left it there. Alright, uh... Okay, so I guess let's go get the Theodolite then. What's the other lines, Exo? Is that like a virus you get when you're sick or something? No, it's this tool right here. Oh, well, why will you use it for uh, looking at things? I don't know. Sort of like a telescope. Not exactly, though, but kind of. Alright, so now I have the Theodolite, and I can look at his plans. Because he's stuck up there. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, With Bronson I... out of the way, I could finally get a clear look at the plans. Engineers' drawings didn't mean much to me, but one thing was clear. These plans were for a five-story, 200-roomed, luxury, pirate-themed hotel. Another stain on the bedspread of paradise. I see. Well, that's less cool. Let's go talk to... Um buddy over here about that. Give him a net so you can I didn't fish. want a fishing net. No. Alright. Rio. Rio, Rio, Rio. Rio. His name is Rio and he fishes on the strand. <laughs> Look here. Bronson's plans. Was I right? Is that creep up to no good? Darn right he is. There was nothing else I wanted to ask. Alright. There was nothing else on the bicycle wreck I... Oh, that's a bicycle wreck. Whoops, this one. I wasn't going anywhere in that boat without Rio to sail her. Nothing to talk to Rio about right now. Okay. Well, let's head, I guess, up the beach this way. Can I go up this way? When I arrived, I was kind of already here, though, right? Can I even exit that way? Keep a walking, Zex. We'll keep a walking. No. No, 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 no. Um, I don't think. Okay, I don't know. Uh, it was Bronson's plans for the hotel from hell. Hmm. Not really sure. what I did at this point. So I got his plans. I told Bro uh, Rio about it. The old ladies aren't there anymore, though. They go back up and then they'll arrive? I don't know. Oh, they're back. Yeah, Yuba, they're back. why is Mr. Bronson hanging from that flagpole? He climbed up there of his own accord. Then help him, you stupid man. Quickly, before he falls. Fine. You know, hanging from flagpoles suits you. Get me down! Not until the old ladies have heard exactly what you had planned. I've got your plans, Bronson. I know about the hotel. So what? This is between me and the Daves. Those sweet old ladies trusted you. This isn't what they wanted. Oh, people like them don't know what they want. Instead of wasting their money on this mausoleum, I can turn it to profit. But you should have discussed it with them first. If I was to let you down, will you promise to come clean about your plan? Sure I will. And you'll come to a tasteful compromise with Miss Frost and Miss Mina? Taste? What's taste got to do with architecture? Oh, dear. You'll have to stay where you are until you see sense. You rat. Catch you later, Bronson. 
All right, I'm gonna tell you. Hi, could I ask? Never mind that. Help, poor Mr. Bronson. Uh, I'd had enough of. T well, I don't. Oh, is it locked? Because they were. I'm still locked. It was locked. Young man! Okay, I know. Well... It won't let me grab the ladder now, so I don't know... Can I get the net now? To let him, like, drop into the net or something? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to fit. Okay, so now. Doubt he has anything else to say either. That'll be helpful in this. There's nothing else I want to... Yeah, okay, no. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore. Hmm. I can't ask them anything until I help him. I don't want to help him right now, apparently. The cat is there. I, said, I wasn't going to risk. Yeah, I didn't want to get cut, get that. Okay. The novelty value of having the inner tube hub. The flagpole looked a lot better without the target on it. There was nothing else. Okay. I'd had enough of. T Oh, so we're not taunting. How do I... How do I let him down now? Because I put the ladder up and it's not... It's not giving me any way to click the ladder to let him down. So I don't know. Try that. Here. Bronson's plans. Ah. This means nothing to me. She's not wearing her reading glasses. Ah, oh, wait. Yes, I see now. I see it all too clearly. That man is planning to build a huge hotel. Bronson is a confidence trickster. Me now, we have been duped. I'm glad we didn't sign his contract. Oh, I hate tricksters, especially confident ones. Come, Mina. Right, right, right. Give him what for, ladies. Give him what for. Mr. Bronson, you may consider yourself persona non grata. Yes. Grave canum. Kindly disentangle yourself from our flagpole and eject yourself from our property this very minute. Disentangle. Eject. Hey, cut that out, you crazy old bat. How dare you. Mina isn't crazy, she's just engaging the eccentric. <laughs> yeah, as a bed bug. Ouch! Lovely as this little vista is, I'd be really grateful if you could let me into the museum now. Certainly, young man. We are most grateful to you for exposing this scoundrel. Mina, the lock. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. Stobart, be a pal. Get these harpies off me. Ooh. What's he gonna do now? Tickle his feet? He <laughs> don't let go. <laughs> Meanwhile, in London, while George was basking in the sun-drenched Caribbean, I went to London. It was a long shot, but I thought I'd start my search for the Jaguar Stone. At the British Museum.
Okay. Thank you everybody for watching. We're going to go ahead and call this here. So this has been Let's Play Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror, part number 13. My name is Xor. Please, if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. And next time, we'll see what Nico can find in the museum here. And we'll continue forward. So thank you, and I will see you later. Till then. Peace.